I am Saint Nicholas of Mira. Hi, Saint Nicholas. Hey. Ho. Oh. <laughs> you know, there's lots of stories that are going around about me. They're kind of strange. Reindeer and sleighs and the North Pole and all of that. But I don't know. That's, I don't know where all that came about, but I'm here to tell you the true story of St. Nicholas. That's who I am. I'm St. Nicholas. I was born in March 15th of, uh, what, when what was it? 280. 280. And I am 72 years old and I will die on December 6th next year. <laughs> December 6th is my feast day. And you know what I'm all about? The most important person to St. Nicholas is Jesus Christ. You know, there was this guy named Arius. Oh, Arius. <laughs> and he had this little song that he would sing about Jesus. And he would say, there was a time when he was not. There was a time when he was not. And they would sing this song and teach it to little children like you. And I got so angry. Oh. oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Because we know, do we not, children, that Jesus was forever, right? Jesus is God the Son, and God the Son became a human by the Virgin Mary, but there was never a time when he was not. He is eternal, which means that he always was, always is, and always will be, right? So the church got together this big council of people, of bishops, and I was able to be there. And Arius, he had the audacity to stand up and say, there was a time when he was not. Now, never hit anybody. I will just leave it at that. But, do you know what I'm known for? Another thing I'm known for, I'm all about Jesus, but my parents died when I was young. They died when I was young, and it was very sad. They had a lot of money, and I didn't know what to do with this money. But God showed me that to serve the poor is to serve Christ. To serve the poor is to serve Christ. So I spent my whole life using the money I had gotten from my parents to serve the poor, to feed them, to house them, to love them, because Jesus loved us. That's right. So when I was a young man, I went many places in the world. I went to Egypt. I went to Palestine. I saw where Jesus walked. And then when I got back to Mira, they made me bishop. Now, these are three bags. And in many countries in the world, on December 6th, the children will leave out their shoes. And they will find in them candies and toys. It's because there was this poor family in my town of Mira. And they were going to have to sell their daughters into slavery because they were so poor. And so I heard about this. And in the middle of the night, I went and I creeped up to the window and I threw in a bag of gold and it dropped in their shoe. And it was enough gold for the lady's dowry so she could get married. The dad woke up and he saw the gold there and the girl was married off. Then I did it again. And then again, the third time, but the third time I did it, in the middle of the night, the father, guess what he did? Yeah, he was there. Where is this money coming from? And as he saw the money fly through the window, he went up and looked at the window, and he saw me. He saw St. Nicholas. So that's why, that's one thing I'm known for. And if you look inside, you can find the gold. Could you please share them with others? 
Because God gives us money. God gives us gifts to do what? To share them. Yes. Yes, yes. Can you share them with everybody? Everyone gets one. Okay, everybody gets one. 